What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to another video on Luna Classic, the native token of the old Terra blockchain, Terra Classic right now, um, which I have been analyzing quite a bit over the last week and a half after the big bull run it had, which we can still see that was the 29th of June, uh, starting the 26th already. Wow. So quite some time ago and after that I actually analyzed it quite a bit and uh, now I wanted to do like like one final update um, kind of to see a, a more long term what's going to happen or at least what I think is going to happen uh, because Luna Classic has settled down quite a bit. We're holding our, our supports but we're not getting that much support. Uh, volume has dropped down significantly as you can see which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's relatively high still compared to the market cap. but. Um, that is an indicator that we're, we're probably not going to be trending that much. At least I think so. Um, and apart from that, I mean, if, if you check out Luna, the new Luna, you can see that it has been consolidating for, for quite some time. Over the last month, I mean, this on the chart, it almost looks like a consolidation. And we got one nice move here uh, two days ago, but that wasn't anything major. Um, and apart from that, we've just been in, in a consolidation and maybe a little bit of a bullish consolidation, but still we haven't broken above any major resistance levels. So um, that's consolidating. I think the same is going to happen with Duna Classic. We got these trend lines, but they're not holding. Trends li trend, trend lines like these are getting one touch and then it's over. Um, trend lines like these are getting one touch and then it's over. So that usually are indicators that we're consolidating. EMAs are also falling flat a little bit. That's another indicator. So I just think that we're going to consolidate above this uh, 10,000 level. As long as we stay above 10,000, it's still consolidation and, and probably low volatility. We might get a spike here and there, um, but that's it. And then in, in the long term, I think one of two things is going to happen for Luna Classic is either we're going to break below 10,000. And, and by the way, that's what I'm naming the prices as, otherwise it's a little bit hard to do. It's a 100 of a, a cent. Um, but on your exchange, it's it's either uh, 10,000 or it's a thousand. Uh, you can figure it out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so either 10,000 breaks, which would mean we would find support at around uh, 9,300 and 9,000 to just take a break retest and to drop down further towards 7,500. And from there consolidate again, I, I, I would say at least, I think that's a strong enough of a level to actually hold us for a longer period of time. So we're either going to have that breaking below down, um, breaking below 10,000, or we will break above 12,500, um, which I have, to, I have had trouble with this because I thought that breaking above 12,500 back, back at these times was enough to actually propel us all the way up to our previous uh, tops right there, which it wasn't. Uh, but I think that now we're down here and, and if we're down here for, for a longer period of time, I think breaking above 12,500 is enough to actually get us some sort of a bull run, at least up to 15,000. But I'd say we can also get up to 16,000. Um, and then from there drop down again, I, I think at least. Um, but it's going to be one of one of those things. And, and just to be clear, I, this could also happen right here, right? It doesn't necessarily have to happen uh, within the next days or within the next week, but I just think that um, unless one of these things happens, uh, we're just going to consolidate within this big range. And that could be between 12,500 and 11,000, could also be believe between 11,000 and 10,000. That doesn't really matter uh, as long as we're in that range between these two uh, key areas. So yeah, that's that has been my, uh, I, I think this will be the last update on Luna Classic for a while. Kind of depends on if something happens, right? And if the market is, uh, becomes a little bit more bullish, I'll probably take a look at it also if Luna Classic also becomes more bullish together with it or something. But for now, that was the analysis. So if you did find it valuable, please consider liking and subscribing. For now though, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.